you know, there's people out there who buy certain brands of toothpaste and, and nobody really knows why. I mean, at the same time, there's people out there who, who murder other people and, and nobody knows why they do that either. So, honestly, I don't know why I do what I do. I just know that I need to do it. Here we are. This is the place. Today's the day to buy a puppy. Today's the day to put in an apostrophe, I think. Yeah, mate. How you doing? Uh, I noticed um, you got a sign out on the out the front of your store here, the blackboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look, I don't want to alarm you or anything, but it's actually got a grammatical error on it. Do you want me to fix it for you? Yes. Oh, it's a full time job, all right. I'm up at dawn and I don't get to sleep until one or two in the morning. Weekends as well. Have a look at this. Oh, mind your head there. See, in here I've got everything I need for every kind of sign, for every kind of apostrophe. I've got, you know, paints and um, paints, rollers, paint brushes. You know, anything I need, any kind of situation. True artist is ready for everything. Acrylics, you know, lots of different kinds. Yellow ochre, that's a popular one with signs these days. Here we go. Open this one. That one's the one. Nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. That'll make a good apostrophe, that one. All right, come on, duck out, boys. Little guys missing from up here. Today is the day to buy a puppy. Not today's the day to buy a puppy. Just, you know, I learned this in year two, I think. Anyway, let's get it in. No matter how many times I do this, it never ceases to amaze me. I mean, the education department in this country has a lot to answer for. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I'll see you later. See, I reckon that the apostrophe is probably the most abused punctuation mark in the English language. I mean, it's pretty common to get messed up. Like this, for example. You get a, get a close in on that, chef special. You see that? Yeah, look, where's Mr. Apostrophe in there? G'day. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, um, just want a quick question. Um, how many chefs do you have here? Just one. Oh, yeah, 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 they're just making a movie, don't worry about it. Um, there should be a little apostrophe just before the S because the special belongs to the chef. It's not like you've got six chefs or anything. No. That'd be pretty crazy, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> so the, chef's, the, the chef owns the specials, it belongs to him, so there needs to be a little apostrophe. Oh. Is, is, your, is your manager around? Well, well, me and my husband, my husband and I, we, we run the shop. Oh, okay. Well, um, I hope you don't mind if, um, if, if I make a few changes and sort of prepared for this. Um, it won't take a minute. You have to stay on the ball in this game. Some like chef special might seem straightforward enough, but if there are two chefs or even three, the apostrophe has to go after the S. So you're not really likely to get three chefs in a cafeteria. Mind you, though, I'd have egg all over my face by putting apostrophe in the wrong place like that or even in some other way. I'd lose all my credibility. Credibility is the name of the game. So, uh, so how long have you been working? Oi, oi, what are you, oi, what are you doing? Focus on the apostrophes, please. See that? That's disgusting, isn't it? Hello? Hello? Hey mate, how are you Nick? Yeah mate. Yeah, how you doing mate? I'm Barry Feldman. I was wondering if um wonder if I could fix your sign outside. Fix my sign? What for? Um well it's um What's it's, wrong with it? It's missing an apostrophe. 
Yeah, come have a look, mate. It's uh, just out here, mate. Just you have a look. It's supposed to, because it's your earth moving business. Yeah. It's supposed to have an apostrophe just before the S. And he cares. And who cares? Yeah. Well, I care, and a lot of people will care. That's, oh, that, that sign spell, it's almost spelt wrong. That's been up there for 10 years, mate. Nobody's complained before. You're not on drugs, are you? No, I'm not on drugs. Sure. No, no. I mean, I can fix it for you. Yeah. It, 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 seriously, it won't take a minute. I've no. got some paint. I just no. might need to borrow a ladder. That's all right. Yeah, you're not going to wreck it, are you? No, no, because no. If you do, mate. You ain't gonna get out of here. No, 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 no. don't worry about that, mate. No, not a worry. Not All a worry. Right. You got a ladder or something around here? Yeah, mate, there's one around the side of the Yeah. Cabin. Oh, great. Thanks, mate. I've had this sign for a while now, and it's done nothing about it. It's just, uh, it's not on. Yeah, looks like a pretty simple job. In a nice big one like that. So it can be seen from quite far away. Oh, shit. Who's that? Charlene. Hello, Charlene. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I know. I've, I've just been working. Well, well yeah, I'll, yeah, I can explain it when I... Okay. Yeah, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll be there. Mate, I gotta get going. You gotta get going. I gotta get going. I gotta be in town, alright? Oh, okay. Well, um, um, I can just do this. You can go, and I, I won't be a minute. I'll, no, mate, you've had long enough on your bike. Come on. All right, but I'm coming back, all right? You do. You, yeah. need, you need me to move the car as well. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll come back, though, all right? No worries, buddy. See you. Right. Come on, boys. So who's that on the phone? That was um Charlene. She's um, well, she's my unemployment officer. Um. I was supposed to go into a meeting today at 10 o'clock, but um, I was busy doing this, obviously. So um, I'll have to go and see her again uh, first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, Freemasons Hall. Freemasons Hall on North Terrace. I've been driving past it for years and it's always bugged me. It's got no apostrophe in it at all. And you've got to be careful with that one. It's a bit of a tricky one because if you put the apostrophe before the S, it'll sort of mean that the hall belongs to a guy named Freemason, like, you know, Jerry Freemason or Jimmy Freemason. Could be like a doctor in a soap opera, I guess, but it's not the hall. Freemasons are a group of people, so you've got to put an apostrophe after the S. But the thing is, because it's a heritage listed building, you know, I can't really do any changes to it, so just sort of on the down low, I think I'm going to have to break in and fix it. Put it right. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Oh my god. Oh. What you just, just yeah. can, you, can you give me a minute? All right. You have to go see Charlene. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter. You got an appointment. Yeah, I know. I've got an appointment. Just this is important. All right. Look at this. What's missing? Sorry, sir, you've, just, uh, you've got a grammatical error here. No, I'm just uh, fixing a grammatical error. No, Wait. no, mate, Wait, it's just an error. Right, That's bloody ridiculous, that is. Look, it's a blatant grammatical error. How would you like it if at your memorial service, all everyone was staring at, was the fact that there was no bloody apostrophe? Everyone would be staring at it going, that's bloody spelt wrong. Fitting tribute. So um, uh, I usually get called in to see Charlene from time to time. You know, it's it's good to know that there's um, there's people out there who sort of uh, have like a genuine concern for what you do and are looking out for you. I mean, you know, I do get annoyed with this place a little bit. You know, we don't always see eye to eye on everything. Oh, this is pathetic, Barry. Oh, I'm just talking to the guys oh, in the. More excuses. Oh, what new ones have you got for me today? Yeah, you up, and you down. Yeah, it's like my second home, really. Who are they? Oh, these guys are the film crew. They've been making a documentary about me. So why do you keep missing your appointments? 
Oh, I've been working a lot. Well, you found a job? Yeah. Yeah? No, it's more like, um, more like freelance work. Explain. Uh, where to begin? Um, well, it's community-based work. Um, I'm a patrol officer stationed in a sort of the, the higher end business district where there's like this um, significant demand for um, signs and uh, apostrophe. Oh, when are you going to grow up? Start acting your age, for goodness sake. We're giving you all the support we can, but you've got to meet us halfway. Sorry, Charlie. You're wasting our time. I've got people out there who are serious, desperate, actually put in the hard yards to get employment. I do put in the hard no. yards. Yes, I do. I'm up at six o'clock every morning. I mean, I go home by 12, but I mean, it's still like... Yes, but what you do isn't actually work, is it? It's just some weird little obsession. I'm sick of your excuses. I'm sick of your attitude. You just live in a dream world. Don't live in a dream um, world. Um, if you miss another appointment, you'll be taken off the doll. Mm, see how far your dream supports you then. Come back when you've adopted a little common sense. But, like, I mean... Goodbye, Barry. I just, I don't, I don't know... Well, they are for the kids, but I guess that's appropriate. Can Lenny have one too? Lenny, you want a little Oh, one? take the whole bloody... Right. Oh, for goodness sake. Sorry, I just want to... Take it away. How do you think it went? She's been a complete... Sorry, Charlene. Sorry. Come on. Let's get out of here. Look, here they go. Blew my car. Look at this. Class Crawl, Thursday 18th, Thebiton Theatre. Hang on, wait, Thebiton Theatre, that's um, that's on the marquee on the side, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, Going out onto the road, like yeah, up yeah. next to it. Yeah, I reckon they have a, wonder if they've got an apostrophe on that. Barry, tell me about your relationship. Relationships? Uh, well, I had a girlfriend once. Her name was Mindy, and she was she was really pretty. I really liked her. Uh, she used to travel a lot though, so she used to send me a lot of letters, which you know I thought was really sweet. It's nice, but um, I don't know. It wasn't really the distance. It was more. Her letters were filled with a lot of errors, like grammatical errors, you know. What started off as being like a little extra comma here and there sort of turned into cock-ups with contractions and plurals and things like that. And, you know, question marks that just didn't need to be there. And I just thought, I don't know this girl anymore. So, I, I don't know, it's just, it's just sort of left it at that. I suppose it's all in. Yeah, yeah, I still have a photo. Still have a photo. You reckon you could, you could get a close-up of that? Yeah, she's real pretty. Someone once said to me, uh, it's, it's better to be loved than to be right. I mean, can you believe that? Well, today's a big day, fellas. I planned this caper out with meticulous, perfect detail. Uh, what exactly are we doing, Barry? Freemasons Hall. Don't you remember? We were talking about it earlier. It's time to put it into action. But, um, we weren't really planning on that in our shoot window. I don't think it's a good idea, yeah, but Barry, I'm, I'm with him. I don't, it seems a bit, I don't know, extreme. No. What, are you, what are you guys worried about? Look, I've been planning this caper for years. Everything's up here. Nothing can go wrong. There's no need to stress. We're committing a crime, though, Barry. We're not committing a crime. It's only a crime if you get caught. Hey, look, we're doing this in the name of apostrophe, all right? And if working in the name of apostrophe is a crime, well then I guess we're just crime makers, aren't we? Barry, you got I, kids? I've got two kids to think about. I mean, um... Well, bring them along. <laughs> Come on, that's fine. I've got plenty of these. Plenty of these. Yeah, Lenny, you're with me, aren't you, no, mate? Lenny's not Come with on, Lenny, Lenny, get it on. Guys, no, no, you got Lenny, it. You don't have to. Yeah, it looks it, great, doesn't it? Why? What about you, mate? You can no, have one. I don't want no, it. I, you can do no, it. No, 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 I don't. I, 
I look like I stole this car. <laughs> you do a bit. But why did you put your mask on? Mum needed that for you. Alright. Let's go to work. See why Mozart was a Freemason. God, Baz. From time to time, I have my run-ins with the law. But then, what man of vision hasn't? It comes with the territory. You try to change the world, and the world resists. Where are they taking him? I don't know. Get him a lighting kit. He doesn't even know what a flecky is, you know? But I guess you get that in the industry. Oh, there he is. Hey, Baz. Sorry, Ryan. Hey, guys. Thanks for driving the car over, mate. Oh, yeah, no problem, Baz. Cheers. Yeah, sorry about the whole the Freemasons thing. We just we didn't didn't know what happened. We were so we got out. But um, no, it's all good though. It's good to see you're in good health. So um, before this whole Freemasons fiasco. I, um, I saw an ad on TV that was, uh, had a blatant disregard for the apostrophe. So I rang him up and I got this smart ass little copywriter kid telling me that, oh no, you got no idea what you're talking about, mate. No, you, you're full of it, you're full of it. So I'm pulling out the big guns, put this kid right in his place. I'm going to go see the Professor Roussos from the University of Adelaide's English Department. And he's going to give me his professional opinion, and hopefully with backing from him, this little smug bastard will be right in his place. Mm. Well, I'm sorry to say this, Mr. Feldman, but the example as written is quite correct. No, but Mars is a singular noun, and, you know, when it takes the form of the, um, what is it, the... Uh, possessive. Possessive, then it usually has an apostrophe and then an S. With most singular nouns, yes, but you've got to remember there are exceptions. Well, yeah, of course, when the desired effect is to, um, you know, avoid a triple syllabant, I mean... Sibilant, yes. Syllabant. Look, I, I, I believe the correct pronunciation is sibilant. Yeah, syllabant. Good. Syllabant? Si sibilant. S sibilant. Mr. Feldman, are you wasting my time? No, no sibilant, that's what I said, sibilant. And so, yeah, but you're trying to avoid the multisyllabant, but Mars isn't a multisyllabic word. Mm, no. No, you're right, you got me. <laughs> but it is a classical name, and with most classical names, the possessive requires only an apostrophe. And uh, Mars is one of those examples, Mr. Feldman. It's quite correct. Look, Mr. Feldman, um, I'm sure you're aware of this, but the history of the apostrophe is quite an uh, imprecise one. Even here in the 21st century, scholars can't exactly agree on what forms acceptable use and what doesn't. And there are those, and I believe the numbers are growing, who advocate the abolition of the apostrophe altogether. And it might not happen this year or this decade, but language is a living thing tended to by those who employ it. And Mr. Feldman, I'm afraid.
afraid the future for the apostrophe isn't looking too good. Oh, 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 look, thanks very much. I'm sorry to have wasted your time. Not at all. Yeah. Hey, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. So, what are we doing now? I don't know, he's been nursing that beer for a while. That's a ginger beer, that's one. No, oh. <laughs> he's not doing anything. I thought he was going to the Theberton. I don't know, someone needs to go talk to him. You do it, mate. I'm not doing it. What? No, you do it. You go. No, just go and have a chat. We are so close to the end of this documentary, all right? We need that last shot of him at the Theberton. We've been waiting for it. Someone has to go talk to him. Lenny. You're up. Where you go, Lenny? Go. All right. Go. Hey, Baz. What's happening? I thought we were coming to the Sabaton tonight. Look, guys, I reckon, um... I reckon you're better off just finding someone else for your doco. I, I mean, I, I just can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm retiring. I'm out of the game, guys. Yeah, come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Yeah, let's go, mate. Come on. Come, come on, on, Barry. I can't come do on. it, guys. I mean, yeah, look at this. Look. Can you believe this? Look at this band. Life's cruel. Life is cruel. Life is cruel. But no apostrophe. I mean, what kind of message is that to the kids? But, Barry, they're playing at the seven and Go change it. Come on. Let's but go, just go, sit down. Oh, on. You, you, could, you could do it. This is what you do, Baz. This is what you do best. Yeah? Yeah, yeah come on. Come on, Barry. Let's do it. I mean, come on. Show Barry, we're talking about. Do it. Last time. One, one last time. One last time. You're going to do it. All right, one last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Let's do it. So uh, after the Thebiton incident, I got quite a bit of publicity. A TV station did a story about me, and uh, I got a call from the local paper who also wanted to do a story about me. But I thought, all right, newspaper, what are you going to do for me? And what did they do for me? They gave me a job. <laughs> Fantastic. So you know, I think everything's worked out well in the end. You know, everything's everything's come up, Feldman. Hey, Barry, you done with my desk over Oh, mate, sorry, oh, sorry, sir. Uh, and don't forget the bins on the way. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Have a nice day. So, things haven't really worked out exactly the way that I've planned them to. But, you know, I haven't given up hope yet. With the, the little money that I'm making from this uh, cleaning job, I've I managed to buy myself a little computer, and I'm on the net now, got myself a little website. I might even take on an apprentice. What do you reckon, Lenny? There's a job in it for you, you know it. <laughs> but, you know, it was like I was saying. There's people out there who wear a suit and a tie five or six days a week and they have no idea why. And there's people out there who, when one shoelace comes undone, they stop and they retie both shoelaces. Nobody knows why they do that. So, I'm sure there's some deep and meaningful reason in what I do, but I don't know what it is. 
I just know that I need to do it. Hey, Barrick, just have a look at this copy for me here. Just... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you've done, mate. Mm -hmm. You've put the apostrophe before the S. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, I Usually, yeah. This, yeah. in this case, it will go after the S. Right. So knock okay. off that one yeah. and put an apostrophe after the S. Right. Okay, thanks. No worries, mate.